Right, folks, welcome back to another episode of our Football Manager Save here with Wigan Athletic, currently sitting 20th in the Sky Beach Championship. 19 games played, we're sitting on 4 wins, 6 draws and 9 losses, minus 7 difference, <coughs> minus 7 goal differences on 18 points. Currently, we are 2 points away from the drop zone in 22nd, Queen's Park Rangers and... Uh, Rotherham and uh, Swansea all sitting in the bottom. Okay, go away phone. Sorry, got distracted there. Um, yes, so today, kicking off with the game against Southampton, Friday the 4th of November 2022, my birthday. I will be 25. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, 25, 25, my goodness. Anyway, can't quite remember which games we bought you last episode, but it, I think it was Fulham and Derby from memory. Quite possibly, I don't know. Either way, it was a 4-1 VIP loss to Bristol City, uh, then a 0-0 draw against Huddersfield, a 0-0 draw against Cardiff, uh, sorry, a 2-2 draw against Cardiff. We actually scored, you know, bang on, and then they came back and we couldn't equalise before the 90th minute, unfortunately. I mean, couldn't they equalised and we couldn't score another one. But then a 4-1 dismantling of Swansea City. And, yeah, that's really been it. Norwich, Fulham, Reading, Watford, Oxford United... Could just go boom. They have skyrocketed up the divisions. They could finish top half. Carl Robinson has done a fantastic job with Oxford United. I don't know what he's doing with them. But they could be promoted to they get back to back promotions. Now I have downloaded this. And this is a tactic, and this is what I used in the last game, and it worked very well. Now, I don't know whether this class is cheating or not. Quite frankly, at this stage, I don't really care, because I need to win. <laughs> and I want to win, and as long as we could avoid relegation, you know, like, that's all that matters. Them in a game like this, we're probably going to get smashed anyway. Like, their team is bloody good for a. You know, it, it, it's too good for this. Look, they've got El Nini in goal. Uh, not in goal. They've still got Salisu. It's too good for the championship, man. I like this, though. We're playing some real. It's a really weird formation, but it got us that 4-1 victory. And so, if it does keep picking us up results, then, well, it's not really cheating. It's just I didn't discover it, and it still it just happens to be one that works for us. I don't know, but you got to do what you got to do. You want to stay in the division. I want to keep my job as well. Probably on, you know, sort of the precipice of, or oh, should we start looking at sacking him? It's right before January, so, well, it's November, so they're probably looking at it being like, hmm, do we sack this fella or and bring someone in and, and then give him a bit of money in uh, January? Or do we, you know, stick hold of the guy that got us promoted to the championship in the first place, has been with the club for two, two years now as... Jonathan Ofalabe scores his seventh goal of the season now. He's actually scoring for once. Wow. Well, again. I shouldn't say for once. Seven goals is nothing to scoff at at your first season. He's come in on a, a free transfer from Celtic, obviously. And uh, he's actually done not too bad at the moment. That's his third goal in two games. So apparently we do need to change. Um, Dylan Magooch looks like he is... Um, 
be buggered. Same with Luke Bolton. I'll take Luke Bolton off because I know he's injured, and I guess we'll have to do that one as well. We'll have to do two substitutions in the first 30 minutes. No way. Not at all uh, ideal, but it is what it is. And uh, 1 0 over South Hampton at half time. Not a bad result. Not at all. Very pleased with the way things are going. There's a lot more to come from everyone, and uh, believe that we've got what it takes, hopefully. You know? Fingers crossed this could be a win. We could have a winning streak. I mean, if we do win something like five games in a row, then I'm going to say it is the tactic, and I may have to delete it because that is a little bit unfair. Um, but then again, it's in the game. Like, I don't know. Is it cheating? I don't think it is. It's not like I'm using the in-game editor. The only time I use the in-game editor is to find regens for the face pack, which I no longer will be doing because it's too much effort until they figure out a way to do it so it's automatic. That would be amazing. But, yeah, it's too much effort to go through and find them all now. Especially since I think the in-game editor has taken away the ability to search for regions as well. I couldn't seem to find that option last time I tried to do it. So, or new gens, regions, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I couldn't find that option, so I've turned off the in-game editor and I will not be using it. Oh, come on. He's offside. No way. Conton has not been very good for us. I think he scored one or two goals, maybe. So, you know... We, uh, oh, come on, Jonathan Offalabe, 2-0 against Southampton. It's the 77th minute as well. Fantastic. We do need to take someone off. Who is really tired? Nicholas Conton, Ross Stewart, you can come on and replace, buddy. Imagine losing to Wigan Athletic and you are Southampton in the championship. It's pretty embarrassing, really. It really is. Louis Wing whips in across. We've got 84 minutes on the clock. And I was going to say Lance Stewart, but that's not who he is. It's Ross Stewart. Um, puts one over the bar. <laughs> and it's going to be a famous result, folks. We're actually going to win. We're actually going to win two games on the bounce. 2-0 victory over Southampton. Once the time just keeps ticking down. There we go. What? Oh, no one's given us a chance. Very pleased, folks. I am so good. There's no dramas whatsoever. David Horseman is the caretaker manager of Southampton. Have they sacked their managers? Who did they... I don't want the under-23s team. No, I want Southampton. I want to see who... So it's the head rice. Ralph Hassenhutl. Who got sacked. Didn't lead them to relegation, though, which I guess is fine. Left then the 2nd of March. And then they brought in Carl Martin, who left his caretaker position. Lost four games. That's rough. They had Christian Brocky. He came in. He was the man to replace Ralph, Ralph Hassenhudel, and he got them relegated. Finished 20th in the Premier League. And they, they sacked him after 209 days. Yes. Oh, well. Right, oh, well. We've got another game, Rotherham United. We've still got 17 days between it. What? 17 days. That's ages. All right. Well, it's a Rotherham United. It's a relegation six-pointer against them anyway. And we've shot up the table a little bit. 21 points now after 20 games, although we do have a game in hand on pretty much every other team apart from Southampton. We do. So we won't be too close. We can't be laughing too much. So 21 points, though. Not too bad at this stage. Very happy and the board are a lot happier with the performances now as well so i'll see you back for the game against rotherham very soon well 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 
Here we go, folks. Southampton have offered me a job. We currently sit 20th in the championship, but obviously Southampton's an entirely different prospect in and, in and of itself. See, it will not hurt to go for the interview. They're obviously 13th in the championship. Who's, like, Merrick Hamshack? Surely, do we go to, do we jump ship this early to go to a, a struggling Southampton team who are actually only six points away from us, but they are far and away better. Is that something that we do? I'm going to attend the interview, I like any alterations for us should we consider? Okay, I'm glad you've had the chance to talk to the club. Let's get down to business. Only managed one club. Is this a good thing or a bad thing in your opinion? Um. To be fair, I've not had the longest career, and so my opportunity to garner experience elsewhere have been minimal. Yes, you're currently underperforming at Wigan Athletic. Is this a case of the jump? Of you asked me to be at the interview, mate. No. You've asked me, like. It's nothing to do with any of that. I genuinely, I am genuinely eager to work here. The expectation asked my team were far too that's why it appears when I'm performing. Rather than the fluctuations in, yeah, I'll say that, sure. Media, I've not been embroiled in media controversies. Inability to cultivate a strong dressing room atmosphere. Happened a long time ago and I've learned from those mistakes. Command the support of my players. Um, given my career, that was very much the exception rather than the rule. The club would be looking for a candidate capable of performing. Uh, you can of handling that better than your predecessor. I've got a good record when it comes to um, meeting expectations. Much than anyone. Can you can you offer insurances that we won't be in for a repeat of that? I would, mm, I've never once in my career departed after only a brief spell at the club. That speaks volumes. I don't care about the previous manager. I'm only focused on what I can bring to the table. Could you be the could I be the one to get that back on track? Um I'd make well, I reckon I would make one or two. Director of football, I'm more than happy to work with the director of football. Right backroom team, I'd like to make Probably, yeah, I'd like to make wide-scale changes. I would love to use the Youth Academy. would be is really good at Southampton, so that's something that really does appeal to me because of the amount of young players and the chances of having a golden generation in my regions would be fantastic. I can't believe they've lost seven and drawn six and won seven. I don't see it. I'm happy to work with those proposals. I want me to finish in the top half of the table. I reckon I could probably get a playoff place, but we will agree. 34.5 being sufficient to get you the job. Um, the fun, I, uh, I agree, yes. 3.2 mil, um, I am happy to work with that. It's a big enough budget to attract the quality player required to the club, yes. Do you have any requests? Um, I would just like to the board to improve the club's youth. Fair enough. Um... Don't see that it needed for a feeder club. Fair enough. I have no further things. We'll be in touch. Okay. Yeah. Key bookmakers. 
anything other than an outsider to speak of face to face believed to have a significant tracing impressed with his credentials as the spirit spokesperson has offered little insight only stopping to say they could see every option available to them did lift the sky beat league one in 2022 and has earned praise for his gig and press based approach with an athletic and his ability to get his playing team back uh, in such a manner has left players optimistic for the future the most distinctive feature of Chessman's gig and press system is emphasis on building play from the back. Let's say respond. Do you have anything to say about in public about your recent interview opportunities? I'm not prepared to discuss my reasoning in public. Everyone's ambitious. We all like to we look at the likes of Diego Simeone and think that could be me one day. Sure. Apart from the way that he plays football, although he is successful enough, so actually I wouldn't mind being a Diego Simeone. And now that we have been, oh my, great. Do have a lot of injuries here. I do quite like this though. I do quite like staying at Wigan. It's only been three, it's three seasons, but I could do so much better at Southampton. But it's the same league, like it's not much, it's not going to be much different. Clamouring for me to stay. Disappointed. Oh. Cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. Obviously, depending on whether or not we get the role or not, I'll leave it up to you guys in the comments and you can let me know. But, yeah. It's, it's a tough one, actually. Because I was, obviously, the whole goal of the series was to jump ship to a club after five seasons. This is only third, so, you know, we'd be jumping two and a half years in to however long we've been. Yeah, it should be three, two and a half. We've had one season, then the second season. This is the third. Yeah, so... Technically, it would be two and a half. Apparently, the spokespersons say that I am the leading candidate, which, that's great. So, if we just have a look at my profile, what does it say? Been there for 2020, so I've played 130 games here. So, if we just go to job history, city manager of the month, four clients. Manager of the Year and Manager of the Month. And we won the Skybet Big Button. Yeah, so this is my third season. So I have been here for a decent amount of time. If we go and have a look at the managers. Two years, 118 days. One promotion, one league win. Got a 40, only a 47% win ratio. That sucks. Oh, I'll have to try and do better than that. Anyway, well, we're going to go up against... Um, See this team uh, here, Rotherham. Jimmy Dunn. Let's chuck John Suter back in. Who's going to be playing here? Probably Forster Kowski or Magooch. Now nah, we'll chuck Forster Kowski in. I mean, Magooch have a decent. I don't know why it's. What is a Segundo Volatile? I, I don't really know, but I don't really care either because we are winning games, which is all I want. Harvey White. Um, Charlie Gilmore could probably. Come on to the bench, maybe. Leaf Davis can come on to the bench. Um, oh, Elio Traore. Craig McGilvray can go on the bench. I'm playing Scott Carson because I know he was retiring, so I did want to get him up to five games. Um, Garcia's injured. Yeah, that's right. I was going to play Garcia, but I guess I won't. Okay, that will be the team then. Carson and Goal, Parrington, Dunn, Suter, and Johnson. We've got Ginley, Magooch, Forstakowski, Bolton, Conton, and Afalabe. Afalabe. McGilvery, Tizza, Davis, Elio Traore, Wing, Solomon, and Stewart all on the bench. Let's get into it. People are getting fairly familiar with this rando as tactic that I'm using. I'll just tell the boys we've got faith in them. 
They seem to love that. Pump the fists. Come on, lads. They might stop playing for me because they might think, oh, well, he's going to go and leave to Southampton, which is possible. I'm not opposed to the idea. Pass the ball up to Offalabe. Whether or not I can get Southampton promoted this season, because that means next season we could be back in the Premier League. We've got a penalty. Forster Karski's going to take this. And what do we got here? Oh my goodness me. How on earth did you miss that? And why is, why is he on penalties if he's missing that? Is he the be he's not even the best penalty you take. I suppose he's probably got... Mm. Okay, can I, like, change that? Set pieces, penalties. Who's the best player? Let's go. Who's got best penalties? Ross Stewart, but he's a substitute. Uh, Forster Karski, of course. Let's put Magooch then. Who's got best composure? Magooch. Well, we Chuck Lewis wing. He wasn't on the bench. Well, I guess we we'll chuck Jimmy Dunn in. Oh, I confirm. What? I don't know. I suppose if we won this game, being that we beat Southampton, <laughs> that's probably why they want me to uh, to join them. But yeah, I could get a lot of young, I think. The region potential is obviously the huge factor. The, wow, that and the money available to me. And again, you got the, oh, I don't know, folks. It's a really hard one. I'm trying to weigh out the pros and cons. Cause, you know, you got the, how are we losing to Rotherham, by the way? I was going to say, you've got obviously a lot more money with Southampton and a lot more potential to do things faster. But then you've also got the pro of building up a club like Wigan back up to Premier League quality. And after this season, like I've got to, I've only got two more seasons to get as far with Wigan as I can. And then I'm resigning anyway. Whereas I guess with Southampton, that five years would technically start again. I don't know, I never really thought about that if a club did offer me the job. But. I guess it will be something to um, talk about. Although. Yeah, you guys aren't going to be seeing this episode for weeks though. I'm recording this on the 28th of December and this isn't likely to go out before the, it's definitely going out after New Year's, it's probably going out in like, probably like two weeks now, I'm quite a, a way ahead actually, so we'll have to wait and see, this is a terrible game, how are we losing to Rotherham, they're literally last in the Premier, uh, Premier League, the Championship, it's pretty ridiculous, <laughs> Southampton will be like, oh, do we really want to give this guy the job, I know he beat us, like, but he's also just lost to the uh, team that was, uh, you know, last in the division. We are playing Scott Carson. I have to remember that. He's not a great goalkeeper at the moment. He's like National League at best. So I'm just trying to give him a few games. I thought maybe playing him against last place Rotherham would be a good idea, considering they're last. There we go. We've equalized right on half time as well. Thank you, Jonathan. I wonder if I'd take Jonathan with me to Southampton if I went. I don't know. I don't think I'd really take anyone. To be honest, no one really screams out, hey, I'm a really good player. Do you want to take me with you? I would probably take Miroslav, whatever his name is, Nemec. But that's about it, really. I'd only take the youngsters. Yeah. And only him, because he's got such good ability. Such good potential ability, at least. Conton has done, like, nothing for us. But Forster Karski 
Made up for his penalty miss. It's his first goal of the season too. Ben Perrington is playing a great game. He's been, since Leif Davis has been injured, it's between him and Morgan Boys. And I know Perrington was complaining about not getting enough game time. So oh, he's back in the team. He's loving life, clearly. Oh, I've missed a goal. I missed a goal. Jonathan Ofalabe scores. It's a 3-1 turnaround, folks. We're 1-0 down. We're now 3-1 winning. 3-1 winning? Is that a sentence, is it? Apparently it is, according to me. And there we go. Jonathan Ofalabe. We are flying. Maybe I don't want to give this team up. Oh, it's a hard choice. I'm going to have to stop talking about it. I'm going to have to talk to... I don't know. Because the, the the viewers won't... You won't see this for ages. And I need to get on with the... Other things that need to be done about the series. Thumbnail and everything. I have to get on with making that. Or commissioning someone to make that. I can't afford... To, I, I have to pay someone. I can't make it myself. I'm not. I'm not. I don't know how. I'm not good enough at Photoshop. <laughs> Even if it's not hard. Ginley now. Not going to do too much. Johnson's going to get it before it goes out for a throw in. Yes. Good lad. Up to Bolton. Cool. Johnson's going to get it back into Ginley. Who makes it 4-1. Yes, 4-1. Brilliant stuff, I can count. Count those millions at Southampton. Oh. What a cross, though, from Ben Johnson to Josh Ginley, who scores his first goal. We seem to be coming right now. This this formation is has definitely changed our fortunes. But I feel like that's the case with most. Every time you do change formation, you seem to get a little bit better. And then you sort of go, after, you know, three, four games or whatever, it's like, nah, we figured you out, eh? And it's just not the same. But Ah, oh, well, to win 4-1, at least, it's a good result. It's a very long episode, this. I'm very sorry for that, if you're... Uh, watching and you don't want to watch a, a long 30 minute episode but um that's a shame as shipley actually has passed it into smith passed it to crooks and they've actually scored i didn't even notice too busy making that change it's 4-2 but i don't think they're going to be doing anything with the last four minutes of the game can we make it 5-2? No, Dunn's header goes over the bar. Come on, Wigan. 2-0 uh, to Derby. Versing uh, someone I forgot now. Oh, no. Paul Stokowski can't get to it. Sadler. Oh, it's 4-3, mate. That's, that's a bit rough. Like, the game is a bit of a whitewash, and they now, now the scoreline is definitely not reflecting on the game that we played. We've had such a better game. She's got a really trash goalkeeper. The whistle's going to blow anyway, and they'll be... Yeah, there you go. We've won anyway. It was a good win for us, but it's like three wins on the bounce. I'm very impressed. 4-3. Hmm. 17th. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Anyway, we've got the next game in 15 days. We just had 17 days off between the Southampton game and this game. Not sure what is happening, but um, oh well. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. This episode has been long enough, like I have said, the bitches. Uh, it's only three games in November and three wins. Very impressive. Um, let's bring you back for the game that we're apparently playing at the same time. 
the Emirates FA Cup third round tie against Unknown and the Birmingham City game in the championship. We probably won't be playing both of those at the same time. Pretty much guarantee it. So yeah, we'll bring you back Birmingham City and whoever else that may be in the Emirates FA Cup, which probably get rescheduled, so it'll probably be Birmingham Blackpool, I'd imagine. But anyway, we will see you then. Let me know in the comment section down below, because we may also be at Southampton, whether you want me to go to Southampton or not. I'll do a poll on... Uh... No, I won't do a poll. I'm just going to ask my friends. Yeah, anyway, that's going to do it. Thanks a ton for watching. Catch you in the next one. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.